I'm going to move about a little bit, so uh, let's not walk in here. I want you to look at the seventh chapter. Amen. The book of Peter, right there. We're going to look at one verse of scripture from this particular uh, chapter. And that will be the ninth verse. Deuteronomy chapter number 7 and verse number 9. We found these words from the King James Version of the Bible. Go back for all that. I still have a few pages. I'm going to give you a little time. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. We, we, we've been blessed, amen, this week already. And uh, we know that God is going to continue to do, amen, His business. And that's to bless His people. I trust you are there now. Notice what it says. Know therefore that the Lord, that God, He is God. Amen. Look at this grammar. Uh, the faithful God, which keep his covenant and mercy with them that was the bigger word. Oh. Oh, God. Love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. You can be seated. The scripture tells us that God, amen, uh, keep covenants. To them that love him. Amen. A thousand generations. Now when we look at a generation, we look at Mother Jenkins. One generation, her children, two generations, their children, three generations, their children, four generations, their children, five generations. Now we all these generations, we only just got five. But the scripture tells us that God keeps his covenant to a thousand generations. That tells me that, amen, if God have ever made us a promise, yeah, pastor said to me on yesterday, I believe it was, uh, he preached a while back, just because you've been delayed, that doesn't mean you've been denied. Right, Delay doesn't mean denied. That's what pastor said. So that's a good word, and I think it fits right in here because if God, what you want to find out, God, did you say it? Uh-huh. That's all you want to find out. God, did you say it? If God said it, let God be true and every man a liar. Yeah. Paul says to the church of Galatia, uh, Galatia, he said that, that you shall reap if you faint. Now, it's the devil's job and the adversary's job to try to get us to faint. All kinds of oppositions and adversities will come our way because he wants to get us to fight and then reach and get the towel and throw it in. I might as well tell you for free tonight, God don't cater to pity parties. God don't even cater to needs. Needs don't move God. If needs move God, amen. He would be in Haiti now, just blessing everybody. I mean, he would, he was up there now sleeping on the ground, and people can't get food, and just all kinds of need. Amen. In places like Haiti and Calcutta, amen. Some of the poorest nations in the country, there are all kinds of needs. Amen. But they, uh, one of the things God have always been fussy, if you allow me to use uh, that terminology, about is people serving other gods. Here in this case, uh, when Moses was bringing them out of Egypt, uh, God says to Moses now, I'm bringing you into a country where there are five nations that are mightier than you. In a full of preceding verses, he says to them, I didn't choose you because you were said more is than number. Sometimes we get confused with numbers. Mm -hmm. We want a mega church, but do you not know that's because you got a mega church? That doesn't mean that God is really working with you. Amen. You got to learn how to be faithful with the little few. Amen. And then God says, Amen. If you're faithful with the few, if you show enough integrity and enough character, you see, one of the things 
things that I find with preachers all over the country. And please believe me, I bet I here long enough to know them all around the world and all outside of the United States and every state, every country, pretty much I know preachers. Amen. And one of the things that I'm finding with preachers, amen, their gift has carried them where their character can keep them. And that's a bad thing. It's because our gifts and calling is without repentance. And our gift will carry you where your character can't keep you. I know preachers all, all across this country got babies everywhere, all scattered down the low. Amen. And, 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 and you see now, God is pulling the cover. He said he would do it. Amen. You can't have final solid marriage now. I'm going to tell evangelists. And some of them just faking it, hoping that they can make it. No, not in that. But because, amen, people ain't got no character, no integrity about themselves. Amen. They don't want to let you get up ever so high and he will throw you down. Amen. But when you learn how, amen, to be faithful, amen, and learn how, amen, to be thankful over the few that God has blessed you with, he is now able, amen, to add some more. Amen. When you learn how to do right with, a, with another man's stuff, if you allow me to use that terminology, amen. Jesus said on one occasion, if you're not, amen, faithful over another man's and a good steward of another man's property, who's going to trust you with your own? Some of us won't even give God 10 cents. God ain't even worth a dime to you. But now you want God to exhort you and to elevate you and to make you. And you have to be careful what you think. Amen. Sometimes that's what have gotten us in trouble. Amen. Our thoughts and what we think. That's that, that, that have gotten us in trouble. Because our thoughts become words. Our words become action. Our action become habits. Our habits <laughs> Amen. Become a man. Our destiny. I, you show me your habits, I show you your destiny. If you get a habit like Daniel O, who pray three times a day, or like the Hebrew boys, believe in God, amen, then I know that God is going to take care of you because he says right here the word. He said, if you love him, if you love him, he said, he said his covenant, his covenant. And I don't know I'm almost through, amen, but he said his covenant. Watch what he says. He says, Knowing therefore that the Lord thy God, He is God, the faithful God. And that's what I want to talk about tonight. God told me to come here to tell somebody. I don't know who He told me to come talk to, but He told me to tell somebody here tonight. Just look at the name and say, God, God is, is faithful. faithful. He told me to come from Mississippi and tell somebody. You need to know that God is faithful. And I don't care how difficult it seems and how many things that you know, went through in life, you need to know that God is faithful. 